We're going to take a look at what Amalinks Pro can do. The final results before I send it over to Matt from Dumb Passive Income over there to show you how to use Amalinks Pro and how straightforward it is to add links and create tables. So this site is just a, you know, a demo that they created. So you can see what the tool can do. And we'll, we'll just kind of point out a few of the areas here. So uh, text links, which that's kind of my go-to. I use text links most of the time. You'll see your standard image over here and then a button as well. And as we scroll down, you see a feature box. So it's, you know, looks nice, first of all. And then you can even see ratings and reviews. And a key distinction here, you'll notice they are pulling like the actual data and information from the Amazon reviews. You can actually see the star and rating information over here, which is very awesome. I've never seen that implemented on another tool in a feature box or anything like that. And of course, that's one of the main reasons why Amazon like uh, blew up of you know, many reasons, but it's great to read reviews from real people. So once they're roped in here, then it's very easy for them to click anything else and get over to Amazon. As we scroll down, you'll notice a uh, price is listed and you can only list the price if you're pulling from the API. So that is uh, important to note. And there's also a notation here, prices, images, and reviews pulled from the Amazon product advertising API on blah, blah, blah time, right? So that's important. As we scroll down, you'll see different styling and I won't point out everything because you know you kind of get the idea. There's just different ways you could present this information, so on and so forth and excellent. Okay, and I'm gonna go over to the tables now because you kind of get the idea. And cool thing with the tables and you'll see how easy it is to create these tables when Matt does the demo. But as we are, as we are looking at this, you can see, you know, image, title, price, like all the critical information over here, right? The stuff you want to see, and you have an Amazon style button over here. Um, so you kind of get the idea. You could filter the tables, you could edit the headings, you could put product rows, pagination, blah, 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 right? Very, very versatile. We'll have a look at another table here. It's fully responsive, so I'm not going to drag it around because Matt showed you how to do that in a minute. And you can see there's, uh, you have the ability or the user has the ability to minimize or maximize, you know, this data. Again, you can put whatever you want in these columns and rows. Personally, I wouldn't put much more than this information. You don't want your tables to be too busy because a lot of people are going to be viewing this stuff on mobile. All right. So it's just the, the fact of, uh, you know, what's going on on the internet now. So anyway, you can insert tables uh, very easily. You can search tables. There's a lot of uh, diversity as far as what you could do and how you could present the information. You could change up the styling. And as I showed you over here, there's a lot of different ways you can present the information and they have the nice feature box here. All right. So you don't have to you know, build this on your own. You don't have to design it. It's already designed for you. So I'm going to send it over to Matt now to show you a demo of using the tool. And be sure to check out Amalinks Pro. I am an affiliate, so I would get a commission if you if you buy through my link, and I do absolutely appreciate it. Quick note, I almost forgot. To use the tool, you do need to be an Amazon associate member with access to the advertising API. Of course, when you pull the images via the Amazon advertising API, um, you know, well, you have to have access. So that means if, you, if you're brand new and you just signed up for the program or you're not making active sales, like I think it's one per month or so, then you, you wouldn't really be able to take advantage of this tool. So keep that in mind. Um, I don't want anyone to get the tool and not be able to use it to its fullest extent. So wait until you're approved. Wait until you have that API access. I want to quickly point out that there is a money back guarantee, 100% money back for the first 30 days. So if you don't like the tool, if it's you know something is unexpected and you don't want to use it, all you have to do is ask for a refund and they will take care of you. I personally know uh, the folks that created it and 
I trust them. They're good people and it's a great tool. So I recommend you do check it out. Welcome to the Amalinks Pro Table Builder. This is a quick demo video to show you exactly how it looks and how it works. So this is the example table I have set up on my demo site with backpacks as a product. Now we know that mobile responsiveness is a big issue, so I want to show you how this will look on a smaller screen size. So I'm going to minimize this window to kind of mimic what this would look like, for example, on a phone. If you scroll down, you can see that a bunch of the information is placed in a box that you can toggle on or off below each image and price. All of this is 100% fully customizable. You can put any of the elements you want in the part that stays open and in anything, any of the information that you want in the box below. So now I'm going to quickly show you how I create a table like this. So I'm going to go to my test post here, click the Amalinks Pro button. I'm going to click the Table Builder button. I'm going to add table. I'm going to call this one Backpacks 2. Now to add products, I just click this plus sign here. I'm going to search for backpacks. This brings up the search results in Amazon, so I'm just going to select a few of these products. When you select a product, the check mark turns green. Try that one. Maybe this Under Armour. I'm going to go to the next page of results on Amazon. Select this yellow one. And maybe this one. So then after I selected all the products I want to insert, I click this button to insert them in the table. And everything in this table is fully editable, customizable. All of these titles are pretty long, so I'm not sure how well that would look on, on the site. So I think I'm just going to delete this column. And then I want to add a different column. I want to add the brand. So instead of the title, I'm going to show the brand. Insert column. See, it inserts it over here on the far right, but I want that right next to the image. So I simply drag this next to the image and drop it right there. So all of these columns are totally customizable. There's settings that you can set in each one. If you want for the responsiveness settings, if you don't want this column to display on smaller screens, you just click the button so it won't display on smaller screens. But for now, I'm just going to let all of these display more of the settings, vertical and horizontal alignment. And then finally, you can choose whether you want this column to be linked to Amazon. And obviously, I want the buy now column to be linked to Amazon, so I'll check that. And that's pretty much it. You can also move these rows up and down by dragging and dropping, or you can delete them if you don't want. And if you want to add some more products, you would just hit this plus button at the bottom again, and you can add some more. And after your table is all set the way you want it, you just save the table, then insert into editor, and then we can click preview to see what this looks like on our site. Takes a moment for it to load, and here we go. Here's the table I just created. It took me just a couple of minutes to create this really nice looking product comparison table with Amazon products.